What's going on, YouTube? It is a beautiful Memorial Day weekend. Uh, actually, it's been raining all afternoon, but uh, it finally stopped. Uh, the air temperature has gone up by about 10 degrees. And uh, yeah, I decided, you know what? Uh, this might be one of my few opportunities this weekend to get out and do some fishing, so here we are. Uh, I just pulled up to a nice little 50-acre lake near my home. Gonna be doing a little bit of multi-species fishing, maybe start off going for some bass, uh, maybe see if there's some crappies up shallow. I also brought some night crawlers with me as well, so uh, I don't really know what to expect. I haven't actually been to this lake yet this year, um, so I, I really have no idea how the bite has been, but uh, looking at the water right now from where I'm at in my car, it looks like uh, there's a nice little chop on the water plus with this overcast we have should make for a pretty good outing so uh i'm gonna get out there right now i'm gonna start working the uh, shoreline just opposite of my car here and um yeah i'll be throwing around a variety of baits and uh see what is biting so see you soon oh <laughs> all right first fish of the day Right at the shore, a tiny little crappie. Just throwing around a little Johnson beetle spin right now. It's been a pretty rough bite. I've been out here for a little bit now with no luck. Oh, I am glad to get the skunk off the board, even though he's just a little runt. Yeah, the uh, water level is a little bit higher than it normally is here. And uh, the water is also a little bit murkier than it normally is too, probably from all the rain, so... Uh, I figured I'm gonna be throwing around a lot of lures that uh, give off a lot of vibration, you know, various spinners and maybe some crankbaits to uh, appeal to the fish's lateral line. There you go. Fish number two. Oh my goodness. These crappies are really something. I've had about four or five other of these little guys get off. I don't know where the big ones are. Still throwing around a little Johnson beetle spin. I don't know if I gotta move around to uh, find a spot that's holding bigger ones or if I need to change up bait or what. There you go. What is that? It's like a sunfish. I'd say a uh, bluegill green sunfish hybrid. I seem to get quite a few of these guys in a lot of the lakes and ponds around here. I'm pretty sure these are hybrids. Oh, that's a fish. <laughs> oh my gosh, I thought I was stuck on weeds there, you guys. <laughs> I was just literally lifting up my rod tip, trying to bring it in, thinking I had weeds, and there's a fish. All right, got our first bass of the day. There we go, nice little largemouth bass. Species number three. Still working a Johnson Beetle Spin Slow Steady Retrieve. There's not much vegetation here, so I'm not really keeping my rod tip up high. I'm um, just kind of, if I can untangle this here. So you got this nice little rocky shore here that kind of slopes down with very little vegetation. So I'm just kind of tossing my bait out. And really once it hits the water, I point my rod tip down and I just give a slow steady retrieve and that's it. Work it back to the shoreline. Wait and see if a fish picks it up. If not, I'll just kind of fan cast my way along the shore and if I don't get nothing, I'll just keep working my way down. We go got something right up against the shore there another tiny crappie man these guys are right up shallow as if they're spawning but they're so darn small I'd be surprised if uh, crappies at this size spawn but uh, maybe I'm wrong maybe uh, maybe they do spawn start spawning when they're young I don't know If anyone knows at what point in a crappie's lifespan they start spawning, uh, post below and let me know. 
All right, guys, as much fun as crappie fishing is, um, these ones are a little bit too small for me and the bass are not particularly active right now. So uh, I think we're gonna change up tactics and use a bottom rig right now. I've got a small circle hook with some worms on it, a three-way swivel, and a sinker uh, onto my main line here. Uh, and this is called a river rig. Um, we're gonna toss a couple of these out there and uh, see if maybe we get into some catfish or some bullheads. All right, folks, I uh, got caught in a rainstorm here and am uh, standing under a tree soaking wet as it didn't really protect me from the rain too much, but uh, look right out there. Got a nice little rainbow. Actually, not little, it's actually a pretty big rainbow forming now. All right. Well, now that uh, I am absolutely soaking wet, I guess I'll get back to fishing again. There we go. Got something on the bottom out there. Feels like a, like a bullhead. Yeah, it is. Little bullhead. There we go. Little yellow bullhead. If I can grab him. All right. There are a ton of these things in this lake. This one's not particularly big. There are much bigger ones in here, so uh, I think I'm gonna stay in this spot and uh, see if we get any bigger ones. There we go. Really, really subtle bites. It feels like another bullhead, that's weird. I don't know why they're biting so gentle. Yeah. Another bullhead. Small one. These guys are holding real tight to the bottom. Look at their bellies. I can brush the mud right off of it. They're literally laying right on the bottom right now. I'm curious if we get into something a little bit bigger than these guys today. Fish number three. I went up a size in hooks. I was getting tired of these bullheads swallowing my hook. Still using a circle hook, but I went up a size. Yeah, see this time you didn't swallow this one on me. There we go. Now I can start catching these guys without them getting gut hooked. I don't feel as bad then. It's been a little while since I had something. Looks like we got ourselves yet another bullhead. I haven't moved from this spot in a while. It seems to be the hot spot for all the bullies tonight. I was curious if I was going to get into any channel catfish here. It's getting kind of dark out. I'll keep fishing for a little bit, but uh, I don't know if we're going to get one or not. There we go. This might be the last fish. My camera doesn't film too well in the dark. Oh, oh. <laughs> see ya, bud. That was another bullhead. Catch and release for ya. I totally lied. This is the last fish now. <laughs> Definitely a bullhead. They love to come to the surface and roll when hooked. I don't know if you can hear that. He's making some croaking noises. That's unique to catfish. I forget what they call it. Stingulation, I think. I don't remember. But uh, they actually use their pectoral fins when they make that croaking noise. Okay, I swear, now is the last fish. <laughs> I swear. 
I still had a little bit of worm left. I had to finish it up. Come on. <laughs> All right. Another nice fat bullhead. Oh boy, look at that guy. He's got a big belly on him there. That is a chunky bullhead. Wow. All right. Let's get you back in, bud. He's got some scratch marks on him, too. Looks like he's been in a little bit of a battle there. All right, folks, it is getting dark out now, and I actually have a long walk to get back to my car, so uh, I got to pack up and start heading uh, back now. But uh, today did not go quite as planned. I was not expecting to get caught in the rain, and uh, I thought we would have gotten into some uh, better uh, crappies than we got. But uh, you know what? I'm glad we got into some numbers of bullheads, though. I didn't even record all the bullheads I caught. Um, I mean, I think I had seven or eight of them. And uh, I had a few get off as well, so we didn't really get any into anything uh, particularly big on this outing, but uh, uh, quantity was not an issue, that's for sure. We got into a lot of fish. Uh, so overall, besides getting soaked in the rain, I still enjoyed myself. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video. Uh, if you did, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button below. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Later.